another little story about my Uncle Gene, and then uh, yes. I got a little surprise. You guys got to let me see the audience. I hope there's nobody out there that I offend with this story, but I'm <coughs> going to keep it toned down. Uh, well, I'd say now Uncle Gene, you know, like I said, he never ever went into town, and uh, he never really had anything fancy in his life. One year he went into Johnson City and he sold his tobacco and he bought him a brand new pair of cowboy boots. Lord, he was proud of them. Shiny. As soon as he got back home, he walked in the house and he said, Pearl, have you noticed anything at all? Can you tell something different? And Pearl looked at him and said, you look just like you did when you left. <laughs> so he sat down by the table called Aunt Pearl were cooking dinner and he rolled his breech legs up where, over the top of his boots. And he said, now can you see something different, woman? Nope. Looked like y'all wouldn't look, Gene. What's supposed to be different? But well, I heard his feelings and it made Uncle Gene mad. So he went in the bedroom and took off all his clothes. <laughs> and he put his cowboy boots back on. <laughs> Come in the kitchen, he said, woman, can you see something different? Nope. Hanging down like a house for the last 15 years. <laughs> Uncle Gene looked at him and he said, I got the reason it's a hanging down woman. It's a looking at my brand new cowboy. <laughs> Aunt Pearl, she turned around from the stove and said, Gene, why in God's earth didn't you get a hat? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle 